Hi, Amy. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How is the fair going? So far, so good. I really love this show. Oh, it was busy this morning, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, very busy, but it was really high energy, and yeah. it felt really good to be around all the knitters. Yeah, Loved there's it. a lot of people. There's yes. quite a lot of people. How are you doing? I hear you were traveling a lot lately. Yes, I'm doing well. I'm, I've been in my own time zone for almost a month now. And um, what do you call your town, time zone now? So like Paris it's France, time. It's yes, Paris France. Time. France. Yeah. France is home for me. Yeah. Yes. But I, you are from the States, are yes. you? Yes. I'm originally from Kansas. I was born and raised there. And I went, did all my schooling in Kansas, even university. And once I graduated from university, I got a job in France. And I came to France, and within the first month of arriving here, I met my husband. We met. Ah, uh, yeah. I yeah. met my husband in Ireland after six weeks working there. So, <laughs> so I know you what understand. You're about. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I wanted. I heard you were making a new book because your Neons and Neutral book was big in, in Spain, anyway. I'm still oh. enjoying Neons and Neutrals right now. Um, the book came out earlier this year. And I've been on tour all year long, so I'm still enjoying promoting neons and neutrals and knitting patterns from the book. Yeah. I have plans to work on a third book. Um, I don't have an official date when I'm going to start working on it. But, but it, you're busy anyway. Yeah, I'm so. busy. I've got lots of things going on. And then new yarns. I heard there's a few few new yarns now. Yes. Some fluff. Helix in Felix are the, the ones you have yes. before, and there's a new one. And there's a new one called Alex. Alex. So 2023 is the year of new bases for La Bien Aimée. Um, when I make a new base, it can take up to two years to work on a base. And so I've been working on a lot of these bases for almost two years. So that's why it feels like this year La Bien Aimée has a lot of new yarns coming out, because yeah. I've been working on them from the middle of the pandemic all the way until this date. Okay. Um, the, the newest one we released last week was called Alex, Alex. which is a sibling yarn to Helix and Felix. It's named after my daughter. I my daughter's name. She's cute. And I, I knew that I wanted this yarn to be cute. And yeah. for me, I relate that to being soft. And so I wanted to use a really nice um, fiber like Surrey Alpaca. Nice. So I mixed it with a Falkland Coradale, and it's a really nice soft yarn. I haven't had a chance yet to go to the uh, to your stall, but I I can't wait to just. Well, you can come over to the booth and you can come it's squeeze sweet. the skeins. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what we all miss the most during the pandemic: the not being able to touch yes. yarn. So yes. it's really nice to have first going on again. And yes, it's really nice. And I saw the new pattern as well, the bandana. Yeah, I have never done interns here. Okay, so and this would be a really good one for you to try. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Because as well, like I know your brand sometimes can be a bit expensive for people, but with the entire set you can use You can a use leftovers, you leftovers. can buy some minis, or maybe if you want to have that one luxury skein of yarn and you want to do something fun with it, yeah. you can make a bandana with one skein of sport weight yarn. Yeah, and you have lots of different options within the pattern. Absolutely, it? absolutely. Um, the bandana can be used with fingering weight up to a sport weight yarn. You can use leftovers. All you need is about 100 grams, not even 100 grams of yarn, 75 grams of yarn. Finger weight? You can use fingering weight if you want to. Um, I recommend sport because I like to use Helix and Felix and Alex. Yeah. I like to hold them double. And there's so many options that you can do with color and texture by holding the different fibers You're together. You're great at mixing things. I love mixing things. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. with our colors, textures, everything. It's really nice. <laughs> And then I heard you were spinning as well. Oh, well, I started spinning again. So I tried to spin about seven years ago. I even took a class with a very world-renowned spinner named Elizabeth Johnston in Shetland. And I tried to spin on a wheel. And I, I just couldn't understand how to do it. And yeah. so seven years passed, and I decided to start making my own yarns. And I got really interested in fiber blends. Yeah. And so that's how I thought, like, maybe I could offer fiber for spinning. And on my team at Le Bien I have three members of my team that spin. Okay, and so, so they taught me how to hand spin. And I really like hand spinning. Hand spinning is slower. I have more control. Mindful. And I really love the tactile aspect of using a drop spindle. I have never... Again, spin like I'm quite new even to knitting for what like amount of experience that is around the place. So it's lovely to see how people are going back into the spinning and going back to doing everything themselves. So I agree. Keep going, and I think there's a lot of market for new fibers and for fibers with nice colors. That I think you're an expert on it. 
I I know your yellows are special for you, but your pinks are special for me. So, oh, okay. And we have solids and variegated and yes. a lot of mixes. So it's really nice to, to see, even just to see the stone from afar. Just have a lot of color in there. So. Thank you. And then have you been able to have a look around the, the festival? I have not walked around yet today. I plan on taking a walk through tomorrow. Usually I save myself for Sunday yes. to walk around. The booth has been rather busy. This is the first time that I've left the booth to come over to for come the over. interview here. Oh, so, yeah. So, but tomorrow. Tomorrow will be my day to walk around. Is there any brands, uh, Spanish brands, anybody that um, has... Let's see. I have... I'm a big fan of Wool Dreamers. There's lots of, like, independent um, Spanish dyers that I like, and I come and I like to do all my shopping here at the fair. Um, I'm, like, a tactile person, so I need to go up and touch the yarn and look at it. Yeah. So tomorrow's going to be my day to go to each of the booths and try to I'm find some... Fun new yarn to take home with me. I recommend you, because with the like of fibers you have, uh, Alpacas El Camino, he does his own, he has his own alpacas and he does his own fiber. I will go look. And he, is, he knows so much about fiber. He's really good. Amazing. Now everybody in the, like, they, I think it's a great, great festival. And the fact that we have so many international brands is great. As well, so. And so many international knitters. Yes. I've met so many knitters from all over the world, South America, Europe, United States. It's amazing. I recommend podcasts, I podcasts in English, in my podcast, because uh, I want Spanish knitters to have more access to um, English patterns. And I want to say, your podcast, you can... It's quite easy to understand for a Spanish speaker, I think. You, have, you are really calm yourself when you are recording, but as well you have great people in your podcast, not only yourself. So I would like to recommend that oh, to your Spanish you. because it's really nice. You haven't been doing it for long, have you? No, I haven't been podcasting for very long. I really started with my last book with Worsted Book. Um, I wanted to find a way to be able to connect with people. We were doing the Zoom knit nights. And so I thought, why don't I put my Zoom knit nights onto onto YouTube and then I wanted to like talk with designers more and get to know them a little bit yeah. in a shorter format. So we started these new things with Neons and Neutrals called Conversation with Designers. And so I have a series of videos where I talk with two designers from me to from the book yeah. over several weeks and just talk about everything. And then yeah, because it's sort of like the way you mix things, you also mix a lot of things within your book. So yes. there's different um, Different fibers, but also different uh, designers. So exactly, really and and designers of like different levels too. So we yeah. have designers who are experienced, who've been designing for 20, 30 years, or, or we have brand new designers where it's their first design in my book. Yeah, uh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's lovely to meet. I don't think I have any more questions for you, but it's been lovely. It lovely. was so this nice to meet really you. Nice to meet this you. was really fun. And Thank you. To this. Now that things are a bit quieter, I'm, <laughs> but I'm here tomorrow as well. It's, Great. Uh, well, I look yeah. forward to seeing you I tomorrow. I'm from Ireland, so I have to make the best out of this. Of course, so. of course. Thank you so much. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do like selfie here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is so soft. Oh yeah, this is my um, very nice sport. No, this is my sport nouveau.